Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. There's gonna be three things that we need before we can get started. The first thing we definitely need is some isopropyl alcohol. I got this at my local Rite Aid for about $3. Number two, some paper towels. And number three, make sure you have a few Q-tips on hand in case we need to get into some hard to reach places. Let's go clean up the CPU. And there you can see that CPU is thermal pasty. Let's go ahead and get our paper towel out and let's get the big stuff off the top first. All right, I've got my paper towel and I'm just gonna get the big stuff off. You can see right there, it's coming off. Fold it over, kind of go around the edges now. So for the most part, I've gotten all the big stuff off. So now we're gonna get the isopropyl alcohol and clean it up even more. So here's the isopropyl alcohol, and this is what I do. I just open that up. I got my paper towel here. I just go like that. I turn it over, let it soak in for a little bit. Close it up so I don't spill it. And now I'm going to give this a good rub down with the alcohol. I'm going to go around the edges. And I can see some on the side of the CPU. So I'm going to kind of do that there. I got that. And there you go, that CPU looks nice and clean right now. And for you folks that have more thermal paste than you needed that's on your CPU and it's run over the sides, this is where we get the Q-tip. And this is all I do. I kind of just give it a quick shot. You know, make sure it's not too saturated. And then I just go gently around the sides to clean up any residue that might have gotten there. Now for the most part, we are done. Our CPU is nice and clean. It's ready for a new application of thermal paste uh, for the next cooler. All right, folks, if you found this information at all helpful, make sure to support the channel by giving it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for future content. Peace out, folks. First and foremost, you're going to need some iso... First and foremost, you're going to need some isopropanol... First and foremost, you're going to need some isopropanol alcohol. So here's the isopropyl... So here's the isopropyl... God, I can't even say it. I cannot say isopropyl. I just said it. Isopropyl alcohol.